so I just wanted to point out that for some people, an activity could that appears to be a simple task can actually be a multi-step project for somebody with like me who has a diagnosis of myasthenia gravis or any sort of medical condition that affects the muscles and or involves fatigue. What I mean by that is this. Perfect example. I need to clean the litter box. Seems simple enough, except for me, it involves cleaning the litter box, the scoop, the container that the scoop is held in, the litter box mat, to try and reduce tracking. Even with all that, there is still tracking, so now there's vacuuming involved, and there's the carrying back and forth from where the litter box is normally situated to the bathroom, plus the, um, plus having to go through the, you know, just the arm and hand and holding muscles of washing, sanitizing, and drying, and then putting it all back, so more walking, more carrying, and then lifting the cat litter um, container to fill or or scooping multiple times. So you know, so weight can strain muscles, multiple um, motion can strain muscles. So all of this to say that I've managed to get um, the scoop container and box cleaned, washed, sanitized, dried. That's on my rollator. I managed to use the um, vacuum as a, a little um, hand rolling thing because I couldn't, I can't carry a dirty litter box without putting it on my rollator and I refused to do that. So I actually did some walking I didn't, and I can't use the rollator and roll the vacuum at the same time. So whatever, it, it kind of worked out except that um, after doing all that, and I still have to actually sanitize the mat, which is in the other room. I just pulled it out so that I could vacuum it, but I actually do need to go over both sides, front, front and back, with sanitizing wipes and return everything and fill the litter box. So I still have quite a bit to do. And um, because the, the floor was starting to get like cat fur, I started to vacuum, but then I felt so fatigued that I had to come to the table here and sit down. So, I don't know, it was probably like 15, 20 minutes ago, maybe longer, where I said, ah, I need to clean the litter box. And this is where we're at. This is chronic illness. So I want you to think about that when you are a caretaker or you're a friend or you're a loved one of somebody who has a chronic illness and you know, maybe you don't really understand it, but you want to, you want to be helpful, you want to be understanding, you want to be compassionate, um, you know, try to resist that, um, that thought that our corporate patriarchal rentier kind of society, try to, try to decolonize your mind from that mindset that says that people that can't do a simple task like cleaning the cat litter box must be lazy. So that's, that's what our particular social culture in the United States teaches us to think. And that is not true. So when you are thinking about how people are lazy and they don't deserve things like disability, health insurance, food stamps, meals on wheels. I want you to really rethink the way that you're thinking. Because there's my eye. Lovely. Because what may be easy for you is not going to be easy for everyone and so just because it doesn't take you any effort I'm not even halfway done and it has knocked me flat on my ass so who's working harder this is a new way to think about fairness and equality in our society I want you to think about that okay